All right, question here about whether we should use our business name, company name, or our personal name uh, in promoting our, our you know, content and our offerings. And a uh, person here asking specifically is Guillaume. Uh, that's, you know, Guillaume can, uh, has a company name called MetaHelm, uh, which, you know, has a logo and brand and all that stuff and even built social media pages for that company. And, uh, and yet over time realize, hmm, maybe I, you know, because originally thought that he was going to build a whole team around it, but now it's going to be more like a solopreneur. Uh, and a you know kind of like a speaker consultant person, so he's now using more of his name on you know for example LinkedIn etc. Creating content there. So what is my recommendation? Should should Guillaume continue to build both the MetaHelm uh, brand and the Guillaume brand, or just focus on the name only? Um, and if if keeping both, how do we balance that? So my question my first question is do the ideal clients as you think about your ideal clients do they care to work with a company or do they not mind working with an individual person because if they don't mind working with an individual person right i mean this is actually a real question for certain types of industries where they're like you know just to have the hr respond to you and if you're an individual person, maybe they don't think you're big enough or professional enough, and they, 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 they care more about you know dealing with a team um, or with a company. So that's a real question. So if if they don't mind, then yay, you have the option of going with just your name. And I think for if that's the case where the industry doesn't mind just your name, that's the simplest brand. Your name is your longest lasting brand because you could always have different company names and you know. But and product names, but your name will chances are always be your name. So I think that's the simplest way of going, and that's my recommendation. That's how I've gone it. Do you know my company name? No, you don't, and it doesn't matter to you. And by the way, I don't have a company name. I think I think actually, I'm sorry. When I when I started my business in, um, you probably have one. Yeah, in in 2008 or 2009. I, I called it sustainable productivity consulting. That was what I started my PO box was. And uh, I did that for like a year. I'm like, you know, and I started moving on to other things beyond sustainable productivity. Um, and I just started using my name. So uh, to this date, you know, my taxes are filed under my, my name. And your company name is just George Cow. Uh, so that's really, really easy. Um, but, but your question about, well, if you were to balance both, what would you do? I mean, you could do something like, Meta Helm with Guillaume is could become the brand, uh, you know. But like I said, if you don't need to do that, just use your name. It's simpler. But you also asked about uh, examples where people have both a name and a company name, and I immediately thought of two examples. Uh, two of my colleagues, uh, longtime colleagues, um, have have this situation. Uh, Tad Hargrave is the guy's name, and yet his website is marketingforhippies.com. And so some people know him by that, and some people know him by Tad Hargrave. So, um, you know, and he frequently says, yeah, Tad from marketingforhippies.com. But I just call him Tad Hargrave. And I actually do use his, I, I like his brand, Marketing for Hippies, so I do talk about it when I, you know, interview him and things like that. But um, a lot of people just know him by Tad Hargrave. Now, the problem with Tad Hargrave is actually a lot of people misspell his last name. They say hard greaves or hard, hard graves or whatever. And so it's nice that Marketing for Hippies is easy to remember. And, and it's kind of fun name. And the other person um, is Mark Silver. That's his name. And his business name and website also is heartofbusiness.com. That's his website. And people, and, and, but the, diff, the, and the thing is, he actually has a team of people who he has coaches uh, for Heart of Business coaches. Um, but really, most of the time, people know him by Mark Silver. And he really, like on LinkedIn, he's just Mark Silver, not Heart of Business. And so, um, yeah, and that's a situation where, you know, he, he does have to balance the, the branding of both of them. So he sometimes says Mark Silver, sometimes he emphasizes the heart of business. And um, I think it's just a complication. And uh, I, if, you know, if, if I were doing that, if I, if I had a team, 
I would probably still call it, you know, the George Cow coaches. <laughs> it's, it's simply, you know, you work with George Cow, you work with the George Cow coaches, you know, George Cow associates or whatever. Uh, it's so funny. I, I used to have um, in in uh, in high school. I uh, over the summer I had a car detailing business, and uh, I you know I called it you know back then I thought I had to look professional. So George Cow and Associates, and I only had one associate. <laughs> My friend every time he called me, hey George, this is the associate calling, you know. And so it's just kind of silly, right? When you when you have um, when you have a tiny tiny team like that, you just go by your name. So hope this helps. Uh, and if you have any other follow up questions, you can go ahead and comment below. So, so Guillaume, you just mentioning how originally you went with MetaHelm because your name uh, is hard for a lot of people to pronounce or to spell. And so MetaHelm, M-E-T-A-H-E-L-M, it's much uh, easier to, I guess, remember and to, and, and, and you mentioned sometimes you actually work with a consulting team. And so some companies need that. Um, and then yet other companies just want the person. So you're going to go ahead and try balancing both the Guillaume, you know, MetaHelm with Guillaume kind of thing. So that's good. Yeah.